back to the color hub. Tonight we're going to be painting this uh, pretty little teacup and saucer, hopefully. Um, the dog just threw up, so that was not a good, uh, not a good starter. Um, hopefully it looks somewhat like this when we're done. Which is another one that you did a while ago, right? Yeah, it's just a quick journal thing I did on like a Sunday morning. It's very pretty. Thank you. And I tore it taking the tape off. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we have to be careful of. All right. So. And then this is going to be one that we're putting online too so that people can print it off. Yes, we're printing this off for you so that you can mm -hmm. just um, start painting um actually what i wanted to do i darkened these lines so that you guys could all see them a little bit better should i erase them a little bit nah okay nah. all right should be good i wanted to make sure that you guys could see them and which paper are you using you're using the i'm using cotton. the um canson xl paper i just taped down um, the paper to my my um, board and I've done that already um, mm -hmm. when you do this make sure that you go around so that there's no seepage can get under um, I just used the whatever tape I happen to get on sale because I got great big bundles on sale get whatever is the cheapest for you guys that works I've got my claws that I stole out of the guy's garage. <laughs> I've got some paper towels in case I need to blot on here. I try to use the recyclable um, towels as much as I can so I don't have as, a lot of waste. Um, Tyler rips off uh, paper towels all the time <laughs> in the morning for his uh, contacts and I take all of those and I reuse them. <laughs> and I'm using tonight, I'm using the uh, Windsor Newton Cotton Paints that um, you guys have uh, been getting. So we should all be set on those. Um, we'll be using, I think tonight we'll be using our um, yellow ochre, our burnt sienna, our ultramarine, our viridian. Um, what else will we be using? Oh, Our uh, burnt umber and some sap green. And I think that might be it that we're using tonight. And then which brushes do you think you're going to be using tonight? Well, I'm winging it on that one. <laughs> you just have a whole bunch <laughs> out? <laughs> yep. We're just winging it. So, and you've got your two buckets of clean water. Got my two buckets of clean water. We may be taking a break to clean those up because it's a pale cup. Um, so I might want to be keeping the water extra, extra clean tonight. And I've got gloves on because my hands have been getting <laughs> very, very cold. I have very poor circulation, and it's going to be that time of year. <laughs> typing, typing and anything like this, uh, my hands freeze. So, yeah. And the fact that it's past my bedtime does, <laughs> isn't helping. <laughs> yeah, we're doing a night one as opposed to a day recording, so we'll see how this goes. Yeah, a little while ago I was telling Daddy, I'm like, she thinks I'm going to record this late at night. Does she know that my, my yes. brain does not work this time of night? <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to start off doing is I'm going to just wet the portion of the teacup that I want to stay like a it's not even a cream it's almost up like a gray cream so I'm just just wetting that portion kind of like what you have in the picture that you did the sketch yep yep I don't want to do outside because I don't want it to leak outside. I don't mind if it gets on the flower portion because it's not going to be a concentrated amount and I don't mind if it gets on the rim we either. Just, just not outside of the teacup. Right. Okay. Because I'm going to be doing the rim in a green, um, but try to keep it within the, the teacup area itself. There are two two little berries here that are going to be white 
And if we have to, we can go over that in the Chinese white, but it should be a liftable enough color that we can, um, we can get that right up. And what I mean by a liftable color is uh, some of these colors are not staining. They tend to uh, float on top of the paper because of the, mi the mineral that they're made out of. They're sedimentary, so they don't sink into your paper. Um, depending on what kind of paper you're using, whether you're using a, a fiber paper, a wood pulp paper like this, or you're using a cotton paper, um, it all depends on the material you're using and um, the pigments you're using, um, whether they're professional uh, grade, you know, whether they're... So would you say the uh, wood fiber paper is easier to lift paint from than the cotton? Uh, not necessarily. Um, this, this is a very good uh, paper to, to work with. So this one is easier than, um, this is why I told everybody to get the, the Canson because this is probably the easier one to work with. It's a very workable paper. So, okay, we've got the saucer just about wet pretty good. I went around, I did go around the Red Rose Tea um, emblem here because I want to keep that vibrant and white. So we're going to let that sink in a little bit while we come up with our colors here. And if we have to go over the paper again, if it sinks in to the paper, we can hit it with some more water. Let's see, what do we want here? Let's try some ultramarine, the blue, the ultramarine. We're going to go back and rinse our brush. We're going to go in with our yellow ochre and that'll start to give us a nice gray. And we're doing a very thin wash right now, very watery. And then we're going to hit it with a little bit of, um, oh, burnt sienna. Just a tiny bit of burnt sienna. Um, right now we're just playing around with mm -hmm. the amounts. <clears throat> Well, that graded up a little bit. Yeah. Now, do you see how those uh, yellow and the blue and the brown all made the gray together? So this is this is how you um, mix your own colors. So even though you've got a limited palette, you're only using five or six colors, you can make a whole slew of colors. You don't need to have like every color imaginable. Like I've got that great big Robox wheel. You don't need to have that. You can make your own colors, guys. So I'm gonna go in here on the inside of the rim where there might be some shadowing and get my shadows out of the way. This brush might be just a tad too big, but I like using bigger brushes. Is that light on? Yep, lights on. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> yeah. We gotta get you a good studio light in here. Gotta get something. <laughs> the chandelier is pretty. Eyes. <laughs> chandelier is pretty, but it doesn't give off much light. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it's dirty too. All right, so now I'm gonna come back. I just cleaned my brush. I dried it off on my towel to get some of the moisture off. And now I'm just moving some of that paint that we've just put down. I'm moving it around, going in, wetting, blotting again, hitting that edge with a clean damp brush just so that it starts to move it, move it around. Can you see where I now have mm -hmm. that line? Okay. Yeah, I do have it pretty close. Okay. So just so everybody can see. I'm going to do the same same thing. 
with the side of the mug here just to get the shape of it just to get the shape of like a um, shadow and then underneath the rim as well and now that I remember that those two little um, balls here that we want to keep white I'm trying to remember that now <laughs> But if you accidentally forget, it's not... It's not a big problem. deal. Yep. We can lift them right out. And I can show you later. Actually, maybe I'll cover them up so I can... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Bye-bye. <-bye. laughs> oh, no. I can show you later how to, how to lift that right out of there. It's not a big deal. All right. So we can just start to see the hint of a curve to our coffee cup now. Tea cup. I always drink tea out of mine. <laughs> We're gonna want, I'm gonna um, put a little bit more ultramarine, a little bit more burnt sienna. And I might actually put a little burnt umber in that. All this is is just playing with your colors, guys. And you gotta, you gotta practice and get used to just play, play with your colors. See what you like. I'm gonna put this down here for a little bit of a shadow. Because your cups sit on this little sill here. And so that's the shadow I'm trying to put in here right now. And if it creeps up, it's not a big deal because we're gonna do a very loose, we're gonna let that, because it, it's gonna be very pretty if it seeps right up into mm -hmm. there. And then on the sides of the cups here, you can see the shadows of the cups. It's got a little curve to it. It doesn't need to be that, that dark. <laughs> so, so you see there where mm -hmm. it got really dark. I just went in, dabbed it on my cloth. I'll pick up some more right here. So you don't have to rinse it every time. Sometimes you can just dab it on the cloth and keep it. going. Yep. And now I'm gonna, I needed a little bit more with just the tip of my brush, I'm going to touch it in. There we go. How's that look? Very nice. Okay. Definitely shadowy. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to do the handle. I just rinsed my my uh, brush off a tiny little bit, so there's just a little bit of color still on there. I see you just picked some up from the rim. I do that often. If I don't have enough color, I'll borrow it from someplace else. And mm -hmm. that also helps um, <clears throat> keep your painting... Um, kind of clean? Well, keeps it unified if you're mm. borrowing the colors <clears throat> from one place to another. All right. And now I'm going to need that shadow from here to here. So from here, from the bottom, to this part right here. And do you see how watery this first layer is? Yeah. <clears throat> it's very thin paint. This is our first layer. So we're just getting on this first. Let me put on this. Um, like a shadow. Shadow, yep. I am uh, continuously going back to the cup so that people can kind of get an idea of what part you're working on as far as the shadows and all that. Okay. Because unfortunately they might not have the same teacup at home. <laughs> well, you're sending them the pictures, aren't you? Yeah, but they don't have that oh. teacup set at home. <laughs> so I'm, uh, as you're going to do different things, I glance back up so they can see what part you're working on. And I might at the end actually take a picture of the teacup to put up as well. So if you want to print out the actual picture of the teacup, you can use that I as reference too. No, of the actual teacup. I'm saying I thought I did that. I put one on oh. with this. <gasps> yeah, we did. Yeah. Yeah, we did. I forgot. It's okay. <laughs> and now I'm also going to put some shadow underneath the saucer and bring that around. 
<clears throat> and this is just a mixture of ultramarine, burnt sienna, and yellow ochre, guys. Or raw umber. A little mixture of that as well. Whatever floats your boat. How's that? Very nice. I really like the shadow. Yeah, I do too. I love it. I love these colors anyways. I love working <laughs> with these colors. At first I was... Like, I'm not sure if those are going to work, and they actually ended up working. Yeah. <laughs> it just seems like a very odd combination. Right? All right. We are going to have to take breaks um, to let these dry Okay. at points. Um, we can use the hair dryer. You can use a heating tool if you guys have heating tools at home. Um, just don't let your paints, like, overcook. Um, just dry until you're not really smearing any water and paint or what do you, if you usually set your hand like this mm -hmm. on the back of your paper and it doesn't feel cold okay anymore then you're good okay so yeah i like how there's i like that look yeah right that's now. really nice that looks really nice so we're gonna let this uh take our little breather for a minute guys we'll see you back soon blown dried took my hair dryer to the painting it's all dry um you can tell can you tell that it's a little lighter that it's dried lighter oh yeah um that's okay. the thing you uh will definitely notice. around the the handle area yeah that's the thing you're going to notice with watercolors too is that they it tends to dry i would say 20%, 30% lighter than when it's wet as well. So just so that you know. So you if you want something to be particularly dark, you have to make it really dark or apply layers. Right. Basically. Exactly. Okay. Um, when you only apply one layer of watercolor, that's usually called a la prima. And then your consecutive layers are called glazes or washes. Mm. So, okay. Um, I think what we're going to do now is get our tea in here. I prefer tea. So. <laughs> and there's a tea bag, so don't. <laughs> <laughs> so now you're wetting the inside of the cup? I'm what? Wetting the inside of the cup, sorry. <laughs> What time is it? Okay. I, I told you we can't do these this late at night. I know, but well, I have to work now. So this is this is our job, honey. <laughs> the more paintings you guys buy, you can quit my job. All right. And for this, I am going to use, let me see, some burnt sienna, another one of my favorite colors and some burnt umber. I am a brown person. Browns are my favorite <laughs> colors. A little bit more of that. Is it raining when you came over? Almost sprinkling. Oh. Off and on. When I finished my chores, it was raining, so I finished just in time. Does that look like you? Yeah. Try to get the light a little bit more on it, yep. Good. Okay, so I'm gonna just drop this in and keep it. Oh, I think I want it a little bit more on the burnt sienna side, actually. Oh, coffee. <laughs> I'm gonna just drop that in and let it float around, do its own thing. Let it move around. It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I love to watch. It's spread like that. Yeah, I love to watch watercolor. I think that's why I like watercolor. I um, it's a challenge. <laughs> Let me tell you guys. Oh yeah, it's really raining now. I can hear it. I uh, it is. It has been a struggle these past two years. Let me tell you. <laughs> but I think that's why I like it because it's such a challenge for me. Mm -hmm. I don't like things that come easy for me, and this is not 
come easy for me at all. And I have never been good at perspectives. <laughs> so I have been buying books on teaching myself how to learn perspective. And my poor husband has been trying to teach me. <laughs> and that has not been going good all the time. Because he gets frustrated with me because he's like, how can you not see that? <laughs> how can you possibly not see that? <laughs> well, I'm sure having a head injury doesn't help either. I uh, know. I've never been good. How's <laughs> that look? Good? good? Yeah. Okay. Now, do you see how I went dark with that tea? Because I know it's going to lighten up. Mm -hmm. And I didn't rub it around or anything because I don't want it to, like, get all muddy looking. I just left it. It to... lightened just as you were moving it around even. You can mm -hmm. tell. And you can see, like if you can get in close, you can see how it's granulating and collecting and just doing its own thing right there. Oh, wow, yeah. Can you see? Mm hmm And it's just really fun to watch. I I could just sit and watch it. It's really a lot of fun. While I have this, um, this little concoction out, I'm going to just mix up a little bit of yo yellow ochre with it. And actually, I don't think I'm going to use that. I'm going to use a finer brush. And I left my paintbrush in the water, like I've been telling you guys not to Ooh, do. Gotcha. <laughs> I got it. Got it. And I'm going to do this um, little string here before we forget. And sometimes it's easier to draw towards yourself rather than draw away from yourself. Always move the paper any way you need to. Move your board. I was just going to say that probably will help moving the board or, you know, or moving your paper. Yeah. Okay. So we've got that. Wow, it's already coming along pretty good. It is coming along pretty good. I think I'm going to go with this one. Now we're going to use our number blah, 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 four round. And we're going to use some sap green. Ooh, that one did not get cleaned well last time I used it. <laughs> Never ever put your brushes away like that, guys. Sap green, some Viridian. Oh, the other thing I wanted to mention to you. I've been painting all day. That's part of the reason my brain is a mush right now. Um, my paints are very um, juicy. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've sprayed my paint several times today with water. So before you uh, use your paints, always make sure that you wet them. They'll make them um, a lot more enjoyable to use for you. Now, do you have to wait any particular amount of time for them to dry? A couple before? minutes. A okay. couple minutes, and they'll reactivate the paints for you. It's 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 not a big deal, but it just um makes them just reactivates the paint. Do you have to be careful packing it away, like if they're yeah. too wet? Okay. I uh I just let this dry. Okay. I wouldn't like close the lid like that until this is dry. Okay. Okay. So now I'm gonna work on. And just use your brush to your advantage, guys. You can use the tip of your brush, the side of your brush. Um, these Creative Mark Mimics have the most amazing tips. You might find that they hold too much water for you. Um, they are very, they are made to um, mimic fur, like a squirrel. So they are very um, absorbent brushes. 
So if they are holding too much water for you and you find that it's just spreading everywhere, where just take your brush, even after you've put the paint on, and just dab it like that, and it'll it'll be much easier for you to. And then you won't have as much oh, yeah. water spreading around, and you'll have just paint. See how much easier that is? Yeah, gives you a little bit more control. Exactly. That's exactly what it does. Gives you much more control. And then, you know, once you, you learn how to use these a little bit better, you know, you know, you know how they feel. And then it won't be a problem. Yeah, it looks like you know how the uh, hairs of the brush move. And so it seems like you can, you know, where to put it because you've played with them so much. Yeah. yeah, I've been using these a while. But again, if you go outside the lines or whatever, it's not a, it's not the end of the world. I'm just going to know. Yeah. <laughs> could, be, <laughs> could be intentional. Yeah. Or you can always clean it up. Like with those white berries, we're going to show later mm -hmm. how to clean those up. Now here, I think I want a little bit different color of a green. This is my favorite set of china. <laughs> That's the only set I get out. I used to put it away every winter and only get it out at winter and then I was like, eh, I love it so much, why am I putting this away? <laughs> It's okay to be festive all year round. Yes, it is. Especially during 2020. <laughs> God, that's the <laughs> year that just won't go away. <laughs> I don't do low lights to this at all. That's good. Maybe she fell asleep. She's probably the only one upstairs that isn't asleep. <laughs> now, that was a kind of a stupid mistake that I made, but um, I knew that I went in with thicker paint than what was on the paper. Hmm. And what I mean by that was the moisture content on my brush was less than what was on the paper so I wasn't going to create a bloom mm. like what was I was showing you last time yeah so as long as your brush isn't wet you could technically go back over a wet part and right add some you more. just want to make sure your um, balance of water um, I can't explain it properly. Uh, make sure that the water You're isn't the same or greater than what's on the paper. Kind of. Might just be one of those things you need to kind of play with, experiment with, and kind of learn. I can't explain it right now. Because my head... Um, you can't upset the balance, like um, that tension of water. Mm. Well, that makes sense. Like the, if you break the, I, I want to say surface tension, but that's probably not it. It's almost kind of like it. Yeah. If you break that, then the water's going to go everywhere. Your paint's going to go everywhere. <laughs> you just have to play nice with it. <laughs> Which one do I want to be? Do I want those two to be the white? Sure, do it different. You haven't, uh... Yeah, we have a couple different versions of it. Hmm. 
instead of reaching over the painting, you turned it so it's easier for you. Mm -hmm. And I'm sorry if, you, if my big fat head is in. No, it's not at all. <laughs> I actually have it zoomed up pretty close, so all I see is the uh, painting and your brush. And my gray hairs? Nope. No, I'm not even, clo not even close to your head. This does need to get back into focus. These are leaves here. leaves and those two are those other two are berries maybe leaves. it doesn't matter yeah as long as it's pretty there we go wow that's sharp thank you okay now we're gonna do some cadmium red Guys, for the bear, the red berries. Oh, I just smeared. Ah. Oh well. We can fix that too. I'll show you how to do that. <laughs> oh, I see. Right I there. see where. Yep. <laughs> I had a look. We can fix that too, guys. I'll show you how to fix all the boo boos tonight. All right. Now, we're going to make sure we have a very clean brush before we do this. We're not going to touch this one yet because it's too close to where we just put that red. First, this is driving me nuts. Right here. Oh, the inside of the handle? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to go in here where those berries are. Just going to clean that out like that. Just left. Yep. We're down. You're not wiping. You're just blotting. No. <laughs> never wipe on paper. Um, it will just go everywhere. On your wood pulp. You can get away with it a little bit with the cotton, but never do it on your wood pulp because what you'll do is you'll just um, tear away at the fabric. Mm, okay. It will pill. Um, and it'll be atrocious. So like when you erase do. something too too much, too hard, and you start getting exactly. that exactly worn out paper. That's look. exactly what you will mm. do. Now, um, I think I want to take a little bit of my ultramarine mixture, a little bit of burnt sienna, a little bit of yellow ochre. Your favorite color. Yeah, I'm going to make this a little bit of watery mixture. And I just want to go under here for a little darker shadow. Just under here. Especially because it already lightened up a lot, like you were yeah. saying. I just want to do that a little bit. And then for these things, I'm going to touch these a little bit, give them a little bit of a lift. Have them stand out a bit. We don't have to do much. They're already drawn in. You're going to see them anyways. Just makes them pop a little bit. Mm -hmm. Because it's like what you just said. It's already lit lightened up a lot. Mm -hmm. Like you've said before, you don't have to do nice straight lines. You can just break it up. It looks more natural. Yeah. Now I didn't like how dark that was, so now I'm taking some clean, damp water and I'm just going over it. And that'll just 
smooth it right out. And because they're sedimentary colors, you should just settle right in for me. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> is such a quiet video with the baby and the dogs. <laughs> it's almost eerie. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's really making it everything kind of pop out. You're making this look very easy. <laughs> I can do it. Anybody can do it, trust me. I'm not the sharpest type of measurer. <laughs> so you're doing those just a little bit, just Tiniest to kind of... Just a little bit, and because I know they're going to dry lighter as well. But the fact that it's not the exact same color as the white around it, it's going to really pop right out. Mm -hmm. I think it's pretty. It already is. <laughs> <laughs> you now I could tell just now that I had too much water on my brush. I could I could sense that there was water on my ferrule and barrel of my brush, this metal part right here. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want it to drip down onto my painting, so I wiped it right off. I just dabbed it mm -hmm. onto the towels. So if you guys get that way, just, you know, feel free to do that. I feel like somebody who's inspecting diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> I do have this zoomed up pretty close too, so. <laughs> My hands are so cold. Oh, that's why we got your gloves. They're better than they were earlier this morning. Oh my God. That's good. They're almost burning, they were so cold. And then this is my time of the year, so. <laughs> This is when I want to be out with the dogs. I can't tolerate the heat it very well, so the colder time is better for me. All right. I'm going to do a little zoom out so you can look at it. Okay, so now I'm going to make up a little bit of a, a thick, pasty green mixture. Now, um, the further along we go in our painting, the pastier we want our paint to be as well. Mm. And now I'm going to try to, I'm going to try mm. <laughs> to grow around this saucer edge. We shall see how this goes. Mm. Uh, sneeze away from being a disaster. Let's just stay relaxed. Mm. 
And again, you just do whatever works for you at just turning the paper. She's holding it close to her. Whatever works best for you. You can lean over it. And this is that mixture of Viridian green and sap green, guys. Very little water. It's a tasty mixture. There we go. It really just sits wherever you put it. It hasn't really spread at all. Yeah, we don't want <clears> it spreading. <throat> and then I'm, now I'm going to do the rim. The tea is, the tea is cold now. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're going to do the rim. <laughs> Saving the hard part for last. <laughs> You guys can do this whatever color you want. Yeah, that's the best color. <laughs> Only if it's getting graded. <laughs> wow. And then when you zoom out, it looks very sharp. Thank you. Okay, we have a little gray here for the staple. And I think I'm going to put a little, let's see, a little shadow around the keyboard. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's way too wet. <laughs> You just do what she did. She just blotted it really quick on the, um, the towel and then went back and spread it out. Yeah. And I have no idea if this is how the shadowing should be on this guy. So <laughs> I just wanted to make it stand out. I don't have it right here with me. 
Now I know that shouldn't look like that. Go back and fix it. Yep. yep. <laughs> All right. Should I splatter? Do splatters? Yeah. Yeah, I like okay. that splattered look. So I mean, do if you? you if if you don't want to do the splatter, you know that's what you're gonna have. If you want to do the splatter, she's gonna show you how to do this. Okay. Now I don't want the teacup to get splattered. I just want want the background splattered. Mm -hmm. Yep. So it's gonna be oh, a little bit want... different from that. No, oh, I'm just you I'm want showing. That? No, what? I'm showing the contrast. No, no, no. Do you want that look? Yeah, keep that look, and then um, keep this, and then just do your splatter around the outside. No, I like what you're gonna do. Excuse me. I can do the whole thing splattered. I just wet it all. No, no, because you've already got one like that. Do this well, one Well, let's different. see how it looks first. <laughs> so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take my big brush. Spray some water on here. What do we, what do we want? I'll splatter some tea on. Yeah. Let's take some tea colors here. Burnt sienna, burnt umber. We stand up for this <laughs> for this disaster now. Watch us ruin it. No. And we're just gonna take the paintbrush that's full of paint. Pull it right back up. And wherever we've got that water. It's going to sink wow, right can, into Yeah, this. you can see it. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> we need more. Start out with a little, and then you can always add more. <laughs> but you can already see what she was talking about, where she already put water. You can see it kind of like spreading out a little bit. Yeah, again, if you're, uh, oh, that's very nice. Oh, I haven't gotten some paint on the phone. <laughs> oh, yeah. It goes everywhere. Make sure you have a tablecloth. You don't mind if it does get stained, but, you know, I think this one she can just throw on the wash and it comes out pretty clean. All right. You guys want to do a reveal? Awesome. Now, watch how I take this paint tape off. I pull this way. Pull towards you pull that way that way your paper is not going to rip mm. if you pulled the other way your paper is going to rip okay do you need me to, to get that Probably. one started i'll get it oh my fingers are so sore well, almost done there we go Let's see if I can get this bad boy started at least. Oh no. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can't feel that. My goodness. All right, there you go. I think that should help. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> there we go, guys. Awesome. I hope you enjoyed this tonight. Turn that right side up. Very nice. Let's do a little zoom in from the top bottom. Thanks for tuning in. That was a nice easy one. It looks complicated, but it was pretty easy. No, that one's not hard at all. Very cool. Well, thank you very much, everyone. Welcome back, and this will be up for sale. Just contact <laughs> Shannon. <laughs> Have a great time, everyone. See you later. Night. Have a great Thanksgiving. Yes, happy Thanksgiving.